for those who want to learn how to use a new patch it's not hard harry has it on his on a community forum it's on the real socon community i can put the links in the description and all that it's the virgin 5 blah 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 if you guys don't know how to load it it's really easy you need a console with free mcboot i have a skinny one right here and i have a fat one right here this one's modded soft modded in the hard drive this one has a free mcboot memory card you get free mcboot anywhere on ebay they're cheap this is version 1.95 that's what you want now all you got to do is go to the website take that memory take that out here i'll do this one right here Go on your computer with your flash drive. It has to be old. This is an old one. This is a let me focus on this. A cruise. Sandisk cruise. It's only like four gigs. When you put it in, GSB port. Boom. You want to go to my computer for this of Windows. You wanna make sure it's empty. You want to format it, so you right click on it, see look, it's right there, Windows XP, Windows 7, 8, 10, whatever. You get a format, it's all the same. You make sure it's FAT32. If you don't have that option, in the description I'll put a program in there that will let you format it to FAT32, because I had an issue with uh, formatting certain flash drives. FAT32 stands for File Allocation Table in 32-bit. That's what the console reads. So once you format that, you know, quick format whatever you want. You leave everything the same like this. You can name it like PlayStation Flash Drive or whatever. It's not going to matter what you name it. And you hit Start and it'll go through it. Once it's done, you hit OK and Close. Now, the files, these are also in the Facebook group also. I'll put that in the link description too as well. You should have these files I have the SOCOM 3 it's right there if you guys play SOCOM 3 SOCOM Command Assault Maps that's a must on your flash drive but you should have that ELF file you download off of Harry it's right here you take it from your download which will be under your user account information downloads you take it right there you copy it which I'm not gonna paste mine in here we can paste it boom and it should be in that right there then you unplug it then you hook it with the console off and if your console is soft on it which is really easy to do you guys could even send them to me I don't like to pay for the postage both ways Make sure your SOCOM 2 disc is in there, lids up, power it on. If it's version 1.95, see look, free McBoot. It has to be version 1.95 or higher. You go down to U-Launch ELF, because that's the extension. You hit circle to browse your files. You go down to mass, press circle. You go down to your elf file, which is right there. You press circle. Oh, look at that. There it is. And now if you do that, put the lid down. Don't press anything, it'll do the thing. Let's see, by Harry62, I think it says. This is a regular CRT TV. You can do the same thing with the uh, free McBoot for the fat consoles too. It's the same exact process. It's the same thing. Well, that's loading. We'll do this because mine's already soft modded. I don't need free McBoot. So therefore, I could just 
I got another disc here. My niece is playing cat in a hat. My screen, my console, I don't know what's wrong with it. it does that doesn't rotate the thing or whatever. But you got a browser if you have a soft mod console. This is if you have a soft mod with the unofficial hard drive. And you go into your hard drive settings. Do you want to go to you launch out? It's right there. It looks like that. And you press X. Well, it loads. Let's go back to the skinny one. This is for those who want to play patch. And Harry will update this patch all the time. Usually, someone in a group puts in there like it's updated, blah, blah, blah. Go download. If not, just check on the forum. That's what I do. I'll say R005 patch version 0. 0.58 that's it it's that simple here you go and you go the same thing with the fat console so I shut the other console off here's my fat console boom disc out and I turn it on regular memory card don't have two memory cards one for free boot which the free boot one always goes in the second slot Go on, file browser, press circle, go down to mass. Same concept. Now because I don't have high def on this TV, it's gonna look like it looks like it looks pretty clear on my thing here, but yeah. Visit community dot the real com, which is a forum. I'll put the forum link uh, in the description too as well the actual topic link so that way you guys can see for patch updates and check for patch updates as like anti-cheat like day night maps that are, day maps that aren't usually they're usually night and night maps are usually day like he does everything if you really wanted to he can integrate the hard disk drive maps which it is hard but it's not hard it just takes work and doesn't want to do the work because this is free don't blame him but if you really like SOCOM that much he would probably do it but anyways back to this Slow on that screen, put it back in, boom. I don't know why my screen's flickering. I know my port's messed up on this console too on the back, the video port. Sometimes it does it. I used to just shut off in the middle of gameplay. I'll be like running on a map multiplayer and my screen will just go black and I have to adjust it. It'll be like black and white. Now this one has a hard drive in it with the partition. Since that's an official copy of that, con that game, it's not going to read my hard drive. So I'm going to hit continue anyways. I'll show you guys that next. <laughs> I'll just look at that. You can't see because it cuts off, but it's zero. It's five, five eight. Because I don't have the uh, component cables or HDMI on this, which I could do, but I don't. But it's that easy. Now, bonus feature. For those who want to learn how to play the R004 patch. It's going to take you two hands. You can get the ISO from Michael Ponce or me in the group. Michael Ponce is a really nice dude. He'll walk you through it. He'll do it through your remote desktop whatever but for this you don't need that patch in the USB drive if you want to play the hard disk drive maps if you have a hard modded or I mean a soft modded fat PS2 I'm gonna put this disk down and here's my burn copy you burn an 8x using image burn after you extract it from the rare file with winzip winrar whatever 7zip I don't care so you put it there, 
Don't close it. Go to browse. You can do this with Free McBoot too. I'll show you how to do that too. It's really fucking easy. We'll go down to ESR, which is that guy. This is ESR. Mine's a beta 9B. I could probably update it, but I don't. And you turn that on. And then you close the tray. This is detecting. And you'll see that launch CD, CDVD is highlighted. It's over the ESR patch. The ESR patch basically puts the code on the image file that you burn it to DVD. Look, it says PS2 DVD V in drive. So you just press X. It gives you these crazy screen colors because it's modded. It's not meant to really read these burnt DVDs, but it does. I don't know how much it affects the eye, it probably doesn't, because I know Dreamcasts are real sensitive, like with that crap. Because I already put the maps on this hard drive, it's real easy, I do it all the time, I mod them. You get all the stuff, the console, ship it to me, whatever, send it, drive them out, I don't care, 25 bucks, I'll have it done in a day or two, five times, so. Watch, searching for hard disk drive. Focus, focus. This is the R0. This is the latest patch update that's uh, was made by the company who made SOCOM 2. My hard disk drive is enabled. So I got all the maps and stuff on here. So we'll shut this off. And I'll show you guys how to do it on a skinny console. It's so easy. Some people say certain DVDs do it, blah, blah, blah. I didn't have that problem. The problem I had was my console being vertically up and down. It wouldn't read the disc for whatever retarded reason. So here, we'll do this. You pop this open. Take out your original SOCOM disc. This already has the patch built into the, the disc. So you don't need that flash drive. You don't need that. You can leave it plugged in. You don't need to do anything with it. So you take your disc, your burnt disc. Pop that SOB in. You turn it on. Watch this. Free my boot. In this version 195, you go to I think it's an L file you have to actually put on there. I could put that in the description too. I could upload that later on. You go to your uh, your U launcher Elf and um. We gotta make sure you put that file on there. You just leave it in there, just slide it over. Don't put any folders or anything. Same thing with the Alpha Patch. This is my mass, my heart, my uh, flash drive, whatever you wanna call it. It's real easy. Just download it, drag and drop it onto your flash drive. Don't put any folders. So, um, DSR.elf downloads all this. So you get this right here. This screen, just like on the fat one. Close the lid. Wait for it, detecting. There we go. Press X. I finally got it loaded. It's gonna load the R004 patch. Here, I don't know why, this is the first time I ran into the problem. 
it could be the DVDs, it could be that this DVD has slight scratches on it, my original copy. This has, this is a, what is it, Philips DVD-R. It has like some slight scratches, but it reads fine on my fat PS2. This one, I have a Maxell. I just copied it and took me a couple minutes. Show you guys how to boot up the R004 patch burn copy. So you follow the ESRs. I got two different ones. I'll put the one that I just used for the upload. Once this uploads, everything uploads on to YouTube. I'll have it all in the description. Blah, blah, blah. You don't mind us our furnace. You see, it's 004 patch. You can play it that way. It's so easy. I'll show you guys what DVD I used. Check this off. So, problems with the DVD. Burn it at 8x. It's a Max L. See, 8x up to 8x. You can find it. This is RW, which is amazing. It worked. I was told that RWs really don't work for this crap. Well, it worked for this one. I don't know because this might be a newer skinny PS2. Who knows? They might not want to read certain discs or they put like a, a whatchamacallit, um, to stop you from playing certain styles of discs. But yeah, it's really easy. Talk to Michael Ponce or me or another guy named Missan, M I S A N. He's pretty cool. Um, there's another kid too, I can't remember his name. But yeah, that simple to do with the patch and the burn copies. It's so easy.